Hey people, I am back to set up my December budget. If you are not aware or you don't know, I am the house accountant. I also go by Major Morris in these internet streets. And how y'all doing? Again, I'm here to set up my December budget. If you did not see my November uh, budget recap video, I will try to remember to link that and post a little iCard up that should pop up here soon. But let's get to what you came here for, which is me setting up my December budget. I know the last time that I did this, I used a light color, almost like this, but it was a gel pen and it did not show up that well on camera. So I'm hoping A, that this purple is darker and B, that it will show up on camera. So let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. So I'm gonna try to set this up in the same format that I always do, which I just start out, oh yeah, this should show up, with December. Actually, I usually put, yeah. Mama's December budget in the corner. Because this is really nothing uh, super neat. This is something that I pretty much throw together because my budget doesn't normally change from month to month. If you are new to my channel, I do have a joint account with my husband, but we do not combine all of our finances. I show online my budget for my personal uh, money that is allocated to my personal account. I have not discussed with my husband showing our joint numbers and how comfortable he would be with that. So for right now, I refrain and I do not show our joint numbers. This is me budgeting for the money that gets allocated that comes directly into my personal bank account. So, my income for the month should be, and you'll see me flipping back and forth because I want to set it up in the same fashion that I have for the last two months. Um, so that is why you'll see me flipping back and forth. I may, Speed through this, I don't know, because I'm not sure if I have enough to talk about while I set this up. But my income, we are back to reality. Last month, I got paid three times, so uh, bank balance. That will begin. I just put uh, bank balance. Um. Last month, I got paid three times, so that was like a bonus. But this month, we're back down to my two times. So the budget is 7 -0. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to talk to y'all while I do this because I'm not thinking clearly and I'm going to be making mistakes. So I'm going to shed it, add some music, speed through this. I hope you enjoy.
now this is filled out. There are a few sections that's few sections that are blank. Excuse me. I talk a little faster than I realize that I talk. I'm learning that I talk fast recording these videos. So I'm trying to slow down, enunciate, so I don't trip over my words. Now, you'll see November cash rollover is blank. That's because I have not checked my cash envelopes to see what I have left to roll over. You'll also see that I have a bank fee reimbursement here. If you did not watch uh, my November budget recap, I basically had a, I was basically charged a bank fee and I called and they reversed that bank fee in December. So I received that money back in December, which I'm, sh which is why I'm showing it as income because I won't have an expense line item to put it against. My expenses here, gas, I have $10 because the last few months I haven't been dipping into it at all. So I lowered it from 25 to 10. My music is the same. My coffee is the same. Eating out is the same. Groceries is $44. Typically it's $40, but I've already spent $43. And thinking about what we have coming up in the month, I'm going to try to not spend any more money in this grocery line item. So basically what we do in groceries is we use up our, we being me and my husband, we use up our joint budget line item first. Once that's fully exhausted, then we use our personal money to cover any additional expenses in those categories. So usually I will use my grocery budget line item once we go over our joint budget line item, if that makes sense. So I've already used $43 because we went to the grocery store and I bought a few things that were specific to me that we were not going to be sharing in this household, like coffee creamer. I bought some um, matcha tea. And for y'all that don't know, matcha is expensive. So things like that, that I take to work or that are not going to be in this house for us to share, I will use my money for that. And so I spent $44 already. And so hopefully that stuff will last me for the rest of the month. And I don't have to dip back into this grocery budget anymore. Kids activities, I have $40. Um, and I know for sure I have some money left in the cash envelope here, which is why it's only $40. Miscellaneous expense, I have $75. And here I've already spent 70 I think $4 because I ordered something for my potential Etsy shop that I plan to open this month. And so I just put that under miscellaneous expense. Personal care, I budgeted $125. Shopping, $280. Now this is high because it's December. I'm just going to be real with y'all. It's December. It's Christmas. I got got, as I mentioned in my November budget recap video, I did go shopping. Black Friday got me. And part of this is already spent. A nice chunk of this is already spent for some shopping I did for Black Friday. The rest of it is going to be spent on my husband and um, our baby bear for Christmas. So that is why this is so high. Usually I don't have this this high, but that's what it is. So let me pull out my cash envelopes to see what I have to roll over so I can fill this number in. If you don't know, I have a review on this um, budget system or, you know, cash wallet system. This is the Spendwell cash tracker or envelope system. And basically, you just have these slots that you can allocate, allocate Jesus, what am I talking about? That you can indicate particular expense categories. So you'll see I have coffee here, eating out, groceries, etc. so on and so forth. I, like I said, I did a whole review, a whole write up. I mean, not a write up, but I did a whole review of this. So if you are interested in knowing my thoughts on this, then I will put that, I will try to remember to put that video in the comment section. 
but for the purposes of this video as you can see i do have a few categories where i have cash left over so groceries is one kids activities is another and personal care is another and that is it because i don't use the back of this thing yet so let's see how much i have to roll over if i take this 12 dollars, i have my calculator up on my computer twelve dollars plus sixty plus thirty I am rolling a hundred and two dollars over in the month of December so November cash rollover is a hundred and two dollars so my bank balance at November 30 30th was one thousand thirty three dollars and twenty cent I'm rolling over a hundred and two dollars cash my payroll I'm expecting to be 704 and then I have this six ninety six dollars and ninety five cent reimbursement that's coming back to me. So all of that totals $1,846.15. So if I take my total income minus my expected total expenses of $629.79, I will have a net income of $1,216.36. Which, cool. Now what I do from here is I make a little box of what I plan to take out of that net income amount, which is one, two, one, six, three, six. I have an, a monthly automatic transfer to my savings that happens, which is $75. Sinking fund, let's see. Now last month, if we flip back here, this was my, this was my November budget planning page. So this is the little box that I'm recreating. So last month what I did is once I had my net income number minus my automatic transfer number, I figured out how much I wanted in remaining in my bank account at all times, which last month I said was $500.67. So what I decided to take out of my sinking funds was $284. Now, again, if you watch my November recap video, you will know that I did not end up taking out $284. I took out a different amount. So knowing that this month I have a net income that's much higher than last month, I'm debating if I still want to, I think we're gonna just roll with that. I want to always have $500 in my account. that be my quote unquote cushion because I don't typically have any charges that happen that are over $500 in one month. So I, I feel safe having a cushion of $500 in my account. So that will leave me savings. That's not savings, that is sinking funds. So if I do my net income of 12, 16, 36, Minus 75, that gives me 11.41.36. And if I say I want my cushion to be $500.36, just so that I'm not taking out change, 
when I take out the cash for the envelopes, $500.36. That means I will have $641 to put into some sinking funds. Hopefully that is the case. I feel like that is a little high. I feel like I may end up using a little of this possibly for Christmas and shopping, but we'll see. For now, we're gonna try our darndest to stick to the budget. Now what I typically do is I break out my expenses between online activity and cash activity. So I have online activity. Down here we'll put cash activity. Typically, I have a whole list of things that I plan to get in that month. So I would have spent November planning what I was gonna buy in December. Because December is Christmas, I am not as clear what I plan to do online and what I plan to do in cash. So what I'm thinking is I will do my normal um, cash envelopes, which are coffee, eating out and I apologize if my camera dies it has a 30 minute limit and I try to keep an eye on the time but sometimes it gets away from me so, groceries activities Miscellaneous, well that's already gone. Personal care. I think for this month, this is all I'm gonna take out the cash for and I think I will reserve everything else to be done um, as online or debit card transactions because I think that'll just be easier for um, tracking this month because it's Christmas and I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. And I don't have a game plan. So we'll have gas will be online. My streaming service is an automatic deduction. Those are all cash. Cash. This one is already used up, so we'll put that as online. Miscellaneous is already pretty much used up. Um, personal care. I usually like to split that between cash and online. And shopping. I typically split this as well, but this month. I'm just going to leave it all as online activity. So we have gas, 10, 1079, groceries, 44, miscellaneous, 75, personal care. I have a total of 125. So we'll say $75 will be reserved for online shopping and the remaining 50 I will take out as cash and then Shopping the full 280 is going to be considered online transactions. Coffee, we have 10, eating out, 35, groceries. So we are here filming live from the iPhone. So I apologize if the quality is a little different, but we are so close to being done with this. I just figured let's go ahead and finish this out. So 
out down here. That's my little mouse. <laughs> Ain't she cute? That is dark. Okay, I had to adjust the lighting a little bit. It looked a little dark to me. I apologize if it's still dark, but it looks fine on the iPhone, but I don't know how this is gonna look when I import the footage to upload it. But anyway, we were so close. Groceries, you'll see I scratched out because it's already up here as an online activity for this month. Kids activity, I have. I apologize for the shakiness of this last section of this video. It's $40. I usually do that in all cash. Personal care, again, I split between online activities and personal care. Now, if we go ahead to my calculator, which I have open on my laptop. Got a shot in my arm. <laughs> so if we come back over here and we add this 494.79, Plus the 135, we get four. Whoop, I get again, y'all. I apologize. 494 79 plus 135 gives us 629 79. Which, what I always do to check myself is I make a little checkbox. So, down here. I have 494.79, which is from up here. And then I have the 135, which is here. Total 629.79, which matches my total here. So, close up look. This is my budget for December. I think I'm starting to get a handle on my layout and how everything is rolling and moving and how to account for things because I was able to explain this budget setup this month much easier than I was able to explain it last month. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for sitting down with me, budgeting with me and I hope you guys have an awesome December and I will see you in the next video. Bye.